What's up guys? I'm here at uh, Crazy Horse Guitars in Des Moines, Iowa and um, let's go inside and check out how it is. We're here at Crazy Horse Guitar. Crazy Horse. How crazy is the horse? This is John, the owner of Crazy Horse. He doesn't really want to be on camera. He has a lot of cool stories about some of the guitars around here. We have Neil Young's Rickenbacker here on display. And uh, the owner of the shop, uh, John, he uh, said he acquired this uh, guitar. I don't know, how long ago was that? I got that uh, guitar in 1991. In 1991? I was supposed to get it in 1969, but I got it in 1991 instead. The story goes from Craig Chiquiso, who was at uh, um, Kate Ashbury when they were painting this in the uh, summer of love, 1967. Uh, Jerry Garcia, Bob Weir, um, all kinds of different people painted on it back in the day. Gracie Slick. They were cool piece. What kind of guitar is it? It's a Supro Lexington from the uh, early 60s. The Bigs B, huh? Yep. That's really cool. That I under the Bixby supposedly was painted by Grace Slick. And the Paisleys by the Input Jack was painted by um, Jerry Garcia, according to Craig Chiquiso. Now, whether he's embellishing, I don't know, but that's what he told me. The flag flew at the original Woodstock. It's actually yeah. in the movie. If you watch the movie, it's, it's draped over one of Wavy Gravy's buses in the front window. Oh. And how'd you acquire this? Actually, I was living in Boulder, Colorado during Woodstock, and I was supposed to go to Woodstock, but I got left behind to stay and, and take care of family business. And when they came back, uh, Wavy Gravy gave me that flag. It was kind of like a consolation prize. Just an old K from the 50s. That's obviously not for sale, right? Uh, not until I actually sell the store. <laughs> then I might think about uh, selling it. If it were for sale, it would be around 1200 bucks, probably. Huh? How long have you been Harmonica? I don't know, a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, harmonica is easy. <laughs> You built that guitar? Yeah. Wow. Well, I took an old Tysco Del Rey and, and carved it and, and fixed it up. That was awesome. That's good. You did a good job. Roman, you should see this register. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hear it. Picks that are made out of meteorite, huh? Yep. 250 bucks a piece? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The white one right Wait, which guitar is signed? This is a this is a Washburn guitar that was uh, built for the 9/11 attacks. They made 2,000 of them in uh -huh. red, white, and blue. Oh, okay. I have one of the white ones, and this one actually says, "United We Stand." That's for the 9/11 attacks. To John, all my best wishes, George W. Bush. Why? That's cool. <laughs> I, know, I know that I know. guy. I can't even touch right, right. this guitar. I know who he is. That's a good thing. Awesome. First, right? It's the only one of his kind. Signed by the guy that actually started the War on Terror. War on Terror. Okay, John, well, thank you sure. so much for uh, letting us stop by and uh, showing us your awesome things. 